So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mass code at this side. So today's question is Rohan's love for matrix. Let us have a look at the problem. So the problem is actually very simple. I don't know why it is recommended as hard. So the problem says that you have give you have been given a value n. This is an integer. You have been given a value uh, a matrix A, which is always 1, 1, 1, 0. This is always the matrix is this. You don't have to take the input, the matrix is always this. Now, the question says us that you have to multiply a with a n number of times. That is, you have to find the power a to the power n and return this element of the matrix, this element of this matrix. Okay, that means second row, first column of the a of n matrix, right? The problem is actually very simple, right? The problem is actually very simple. Okay, so the first approach says, because I have to multiply a n times, just multiply a n times. Multiply a with itself n times and find the answer, right? And find the answer. How will you multiply? I hope you know about the matrix multiplication. The matrix multiplication works like that. Suppose I have to find the a square. I will say a square is equal to a into a. That means 1, 1, 1, 0 into 1 1 1 0 now how will this compute okay so the given matrix order is 2 into 2 2 into 2 so my matrix order will be i will cut these two and my matrix order is 2 into 2 that means I'll, i i will have four elements now the matrix multiplication works works like this arrows definition that is i will multiply this with this this with this that is 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 that is 2 1 into 1 plus 1 into 0 that is 1 1 into 1 plus 0 into 1 that is 1 1 into 1 plus 0 into 0 that is uh, that is uh, 1 right so my a square matrix is 2 1 1 1 okay similarly you can find a of a cube a to the power 4 5 6 7 etc and find the answer right now what is the time complexity so the time complexity is you will have to multiply this n number of times so o of n right now inside the loop how many operations are coming it is uh, for each element it is coming 1 into 1 1 into 1 2 times so for 4 elements it will be 4 into 8 times so it will be actually running 8 and 8 times and, and inside the loop so it will be actually a o of a 10 which is o of n only right but what is the space complexity here so the space complexity here is because you will multiply this with this and you will have to store this somewhere. So the space complexity is O of n because you will have to use extra space of this. Not O of n, O of 4 actually. But why do why do use extra space if you can do it in less space, less space also, right? So we will move to the problem where we can see the left, uh, less space, right? So my second approach says, this is my optimized approach, says find a pattern always remember guys always remember this type of question always have a pattern to solve right okay i will find a pattern so my a is 1 1 1 0 my a square is actually what i found is 1 1 oh sorry 2 1 1 1 right now my a cube my a cube is 2 1 1 1 that is a square multiplied by 1 1 1 0 that is a that will be so i have carried out the multiplication previously only and my answer will be let me change the thing it will be 3 2 2 1 right similarly a of 4 it will be 3 2 2 1 multiplied by 1 1 1 0 the answer will come out to be you can multiply on your own this will be a good practice for you also it will be 5 3 3 2 right then a of 5 it will be 5 3 3 2 multiplied by 1 1 1 0 which will give rise to 8 5 5 3 right moving to 8 is about 6 so 8 is about 6 looks like 8 5 5 3 why I'm computing up to the 6th power, I want to find a pattern. So, 1, 1, 1, 0, right? 
8 into 1 gives me th like first element will become 13 then 8 then 8 then 5 these are my this is these are a matrix right now my full focus should be on this element because I have to return this element right am I able to observe any pattern among these elements which I am circling so my first element was 1 then it was 1 then it was 2 then it was 3 then it was 5 then it is 8 what is this pattern it is not an AP the cons there is no constant difference this is not a GP no same but 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 I have seen this somewhere I have seen this sequence somewhere what is this it is a Fibonacci it is a Fibonacci sequence so now we are expert at solving Fibonacci sequence we are experts how do we solve Fibonacci sequences so for Fibonacci sequences there are three approaches first says recursion then says memorization that is memori memorizing the uh, problem statements you have already solved during the recursion then comes tabulation and then comes space optimization space optimization okay so recursion works on the formula f of n multiplied by f of n minus 1 right when we apply dp that is we actually remember the results of the previously solved problems we call it as memorization right the, the formula is same but the time complexity here will become o of n right and the space complexity also becomes o of n time complexity here is o of 2 to the power n and space complexity is o of n because of the recursion stack space in the tabulation form we will make an array first element as one second element as one and third element will be sum of previous two sector sector so the time complexity will become o of n space complexity will become o of n right now space optimization how can i do the space optimization i am actually telling telling about the space optimization only fibonacci works on the principle of f of n plus f of n minus 1 f of n plus f of n minus 1 right so how can i do the space 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 optimization see for finding this two i only required this one for finding this three i only required this two right so what i can do is i will assign a as one b as one right now i have to find eight 8 is my 6th a of uh, 8 is coming from the matrix of 8 to the power 6 so for 2 it will run 1 time for 3 it will run 2 times 3 times 4 times that is my loop is running for i equals to 0 up till n minus 2 times right n minus 2 minus 1 actually right okay now what i will do is first my a is 1 b is 1 my a is here my b is here my c that is my 2 it will be what so c is equals to a plus b right c is equals to a plus b done then for the third operation that is for this three my a is this my b is this my a is one and my c uh, b is two so my a will become b my b will become c for the second operation right so similarly now let, let us dry run it now so first our a contain one b contain one right it will run for four number of times so one two three four okay my c will become a plus b that is 2 after that my a becomes b that is a, a will become 1 b will become c 2 okay so in the next iteration one iteration is done in the next iteration that is this iteration c will become 1 plus 2 that is 3 all right moving to next iteration a becomes oh a becomes b that is 2 b becomes c 3 so 2 plus 3 becomes 5 and this iteration also uh, finishes so a becomes 3 b becomes 5 C becomes 8. This iteration is also done. And after this, this iteration, my, I will move on to the loop and I will return C. Whatever contains C. So C contains 8 and my answer will be 8. Alright guys, any problem? Any problem? Uh, my answer is actually 8. Okay. So this is my approach and what is time complexity here? So we are doing this operation for O of n minus 2 times. So O of n typically. Space complexity is, complexity is O of 1 and it is actually very simple now i don't know why this problem is given in, under the hard section but still we are we are here to solve we are not here to see the level of the problems right okay let us now move to the coding area all right so here we are on the coding section so before starting the code i would like to request you to subscribe to my channel if you are new here and please do not forget to hit the like button right okay so the approach will move like int a is equals to one that is the first element b is equals to 1 right now it is given to us we have to return it mod with this value so i would store this in a 
separate variable let us say int mode equals to this value right and then the loop will run for n minus number n minus 2 time for int i equal to 0 i will go up till n minus 2 i plus plus and make let me make a variable c here okay c becomes a plus b percentile mod right after that b changes to c sorry a changes to b so a becomes b percentile mod b becomes c percentile mod right and now i will just return c percentile mod right and let us now try to compile and run it hope it will run fine this will not give any error or discrepant answer okay running fine from compiler let's try for submit also so that today's problem is actually very simple right oh there has been some error okay i forget to remember you that if our n is 0 or our n is 1 we can actually return 1 directly right let us try to submit it now okay guys so it is running fine and you can see a 130 days streak so Thank you all for your love and we will meet tomorrow with a new question. Till then, keep coding and stay safe. Bye.